What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can make smoother animations using the animation editor in Roblox Studio. First off, you're going to want to go up to the avatar tab right up here on the top left. And this will open up a new toolbar that has access to all these different things that you're going to be using for animating. And what you're going to want to do is click on this rig builder right here. And it's going to open up a window that you can choose to create a brand new rig that you're going to be animating with. So you can choose the rig type, which is either R6 or R15. R15 has 15 total body parts, whereas R6 has 6 body parts. And so R15 will generally get you more smooth, realistic animations, whereas R6 will generally be more for cartoony or just quick animations that you want to make. As for the body shape, you can either choose masculine or feminine, it doesn't really matter, and then you can choose any sort of these avatars or rigs. If you click on my avatar, it will choose the avatar that you are currently using as of right now on Roblox. Skinned avatar is a more realistic character. The Arthro avatar is also more realistic, but the block avatar is the one that we are going to be using for today. This is your standard animating dummy that you're most likely going to be using for most of your animations. Now that you have your dummy imported, you can open up the animation editor right over here to the right. And when you open this up, it should pop down anywhere along your screen, usually at the bottom. However, if it doesn't, you can grab the top of the window like this, and you can drag it into place, and it'll snap right wherever you want it to go. After that, if you hover over your rig here, you can see that a blue outline will appear, and you can click on this, and down here is going to ask you to name an animation. And when you name your animation, you want to make it clear and concise so you can remember which one it is if you ever decide to reuse this animation. I'm just going to be using tutorial test animation because this is a test animation for this tutorial. After that, you're just going to want to click on create and you can see that you now have a timeline that you can mess around with here. If you'd like to learn more about the animation editor itself, I've got a ton of great tutorials on my channel that you can watch by clicking on the links right up here. Otherwise, you can just follow along. Anyways, the ways that I know how to make animation smoother is that if you go over to the right over here and click on the gear icon, you can see a list of settings that will appear right here. You have the timeline unit, the frame rate, the playback speed, and all of these other ones. The main one that's going to make smoother animations for you is by upping the frame rate or the FPS. The FPS is frames per second, and it ranges anywhere from 24 to 120 FPS. Otherwise, you can put a custom number in between any of those and that will work perfectly fine. For incredibly smooth animations, you can go for 120 frames per second. 60 frames per second will also get you nice animations. 30 frames per second is the standard amount of frames you're going to be using. And 24 is just a little bit less than that. So you can measure around and mess around with all sorts of different things and see which one works for you. I'm going to be using 120 FPS. And you'll notice as soon as I do that, there are a lot more little lines inside of this timeline and we're going to be going over what all of those are a little later. After that, if you click on the gear one more time, go to the timeline unit and then select frames. This will just basically make it so that instead of having an amount of time inside your timeline, there's an amount of frames. So right now we have 120 frames that we can work with. If you wanted to go up to 240, you can also do that. And you can just pick any amount of frames that you want inside of this window right here. I'm just going to go down to 120 for now though. After that, if you click on this little plus icon and then click on add all body, this will add in every single limb or body part of our rig here. And now we can get animating. Now when you're animating, another way to ensure smoother animations so when you're animating, another way to ensure smoother animations is by lowering your increment value by which you actually move and rotate parts. Now up here to the left, you can see under the avatar tab, the rotate increment and the move increment. You can turn both of these off by clicking on the check mark to the left of them, or you can simply lower the value from five or whatever yours is at to zero or one maybe. And then for the move, you can go to 0.1. It doesn't really matter what you do, but I'm gonna be turning mine off for the moment. And what this will do is it'll just make sure that you can actually have a broad range of motion 
and you don't get stopped every five degrees and you now have a lot more range to work with. And from then, how you can make smoother animations is really just try and add as many keyframes as possible. And a keyframe holds all the location data of where every single body part is, if you didn't know. And so the more keyframes that you have, thus the more locations there are going to be for every body part, and the more it's going to seem like it's moving. So once again, we're making a smooth animation, so you want to make sure you're using plenty of keyframes and making very little progress every frame. You don't want to make huge jumps every single frame because that'll make it look unrealistic and way too fast. So you can just go one frame at a time, maybe multiple frames at a time. It really depends on how smooth you want your animation to go. And once again, if you ever need more keyframes inside of your timeline here, you can simply up the amount of frames that you're working with just like that. And that'll make sure everything is nice and flawless for you. So that's how you can create a smoother animation in Roblox Studio. Keep in mind, if you want to get rid of all these green attachments here that are, that are restricting your sight or view of the actual dummy, you can go into the model tab right up here and then turn off constraint details. And this will just make sure that you can no longer see the attachments that are on any rig, dummy, or player. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you a lot with your own animating, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.